here's one that's been good for us, uh, especially these last couple of years, but splitting our tight end, our tight end is in the slot to the boundary. Okay. And a lot of times defenses will fill a little bit harder uh, with their linebacker that's away from the back. Okay. Especially in quarters defenses. So we knew that with the back away, the will linebacker is going to fill a little bit harder. Quarterback's still going to read him. He's still reading the little linebacker here. He's going to ride the mesh as he triggers. We're now going to throw a quick slant in that area. Okay. Uh, to, to our tight end, which is a easy, good play. And then we did the same thing out of a, uh, we'll get to it out of a three by one. This is your traditional pop pass. No one in the middle of the field. Run the inside zone. Read the mic. Mike steps down. Let's let's throw the tight end. And the back's extra to, to help protect for any leakage, which he's he's there for. So that's kind of your original pop pass tight end pass. Here's the here's the the slant again. This time the tight end is, is actually to the field in a three by one. Okay, back away. We knew that that Mike would step down. Okay, Mike steps down. That's who we're reading. Back will actually, if he does not get the ball run through to be extra protection, and we're going to throw the tight end on the slant right up the middle. Ends up being a really, really big game for us. Uh, we had watched these earlier with the tight end. These, these were the bang posts from the field reading the boundary safety. We watched this earlier. So saw that one. This is Syracuse. Saw that one. Uh, this is Ohio. You saw that one. That was a touchdown. Um, this is another one at Syracuse against the Blitz. If you have a good tight end, you can split them out here. You know, we're just we got all we got our tight end of the field as a wide receiver. We're we got hitches everywhere. And uh, once again, the back away, we knew that that linebacker away from the back would trigger uh, a little harder. So we're reading him. He takes just enough of a step in. We can easily throw our tight end on the hitch. Stuff we did with the receivers earlier, um, just finding ways to get him, him the ball. And then this is the last play I got for you. Um, this is just a, a true slip pass where instead of running cross cut inside zone, we will run kind of a inside lead inside zone with the tight end as a lead blocker. We'll man up the backside. And our tight end leads up to, to block one of those inside linebackers. Now against middle of the field open, we're just going to slip him. He's going to release right down the middle. And it's a, uh, it's an easy pop pass for, for a touchdown. So those are ways that, that we can get the tight ends involved. Okay. One of the most basic ones we do is just a simple flat route. Okay. And this is actually a first level RPO read. Um, we're going to read the defensive end, just like you would read on a um, zone read. So if the defensive end stays wide, we want to hand the ball off. If the defensive end attacks the mesh or closes and, and the quarterback has leverage here, now we want to run, throw the flat route to the tight end. It's almost like a tight end bubble screen, but because he is a, a wing here, he's just running to the flat, and this is a first-level RPO read right off the defensive end. He comes squeezing down. We flip it to the flat. We have bubble blocking on the outside. Typically when we called this play, this was the only option for the quarterback. We didn't, we didn't give him a, a single read progression. Okay. So that was, uh, that's one example here. Once again, quarterback's going to read number 99 here. Uh, looking at the offense, the offensive right defensive end, he's going to read him. He steps down, tight end, jab steps, releases to the flat, ride the mesh, deliver it to the tight end, and let, let him just get the yards he can, okay? Uh, we would also cross-cut them. We run enough cross-cut inside zone that as we cross-cut them throughout a game, if we feel like they're not honoring the cross-cut, we would either try to come to a boot and slip them into the flat or we'll run the RPO uh, flat, where once again, the quarterback here is going to read um, – He's actually not going to read the defensive end. He's going to read the blitzer in this look. Okay, and is that blitzer wrong arm? The quarterback pulled. He moved a little bit, was able to deliver the ball. And same thing, you're, you're getting an easy six to eight yard gain. Um, that's usually a come to as we run our cross cut inside zone and say, hey, they're not falling back. They're not honoring him. 
as he cross cuts, let's, let's get an easy throw to, to uh, our, our good tight end. Here's another one off the cross cut. Same thing. We're going to read the field defensive end right here. Okay. If he squeezes, we, we want to throw this. Okay. She did. Quarterback bought some time. And the quarterback on the, all these flat throws has the ability to, um, to maneuver for the throw. Uh, Michigan, same play. Okay. Just another cross cut inside zone. Okay, they're in man coverage. As you can see, now they're trying to, to bring the safety down. We had leverage with them. Okay, tight end was able to just, and, and that's Michigan. I mean, Michigan's pretty good defense. Um, he was able to just take it upfield and get us a nine-yard gain. Uh, here's another flat. This was, I believe this is a cross cut again. Oh, no, this was the same. So we were going to cross cut and then bring uh, – Bring the other time it in, same side. There was no defender here in the flat, just an easy pitch catch. Okay, one on one with with a tight end and a safety. Great job making a miss, and just getting the the yards. We're in the same play. We're going to cross cut the, the tight end from the field and actually shoot the tight end in the boundary into the flat. Step down, take the easy throw. You get a better block by a receiver there, we may score. Uh, this was now double. This was actually, uh, we knew that they were going to roll the safeties to the boundary. And these were like actually automatic throws as long as the safeties were spun to the boundary. Because this is our boundary tight end cross cuts here. There's no one left to cover them. Quarterback kind of pulled the string here. Get a better throw, put it right in his eyes, let him go. But it was just an easy, easy completion. That, that was a little bit of a game plan thing because we knew their coverage to that formation. Same thing. We knew they were spinning the boundary. Um, tight end from the boundary is going to cross cut to the field, lead to the flat. They're going to be short for it. So these, these were automatic throws once they had spun their coverage.